In the early 1990s, an innovative and promising concept emerged the electric car. It was hailed as the future of transportation, offering a clean and sustainable alternative to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. But then, something happened. The electric car disappeared from the roads, leaving many to wonder, what killed the electric car? Today, we'll dive into the history of electric vehicles, explore the causes behind their removal, compare the costs to modern EVs, discuss their environmental impact, and ponder the future of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles can be traced back to the late 19th century when they were among the first autos on the road. Electric cars had various advantages back then, including ease of use and no pollutants. However, as gasoline-powered internal combustion engines became more popular due to factors such as longer range and easier refueling infrastructure, electric cars fell out of favor. Fast forward to the 1990s, when the electric car saw a revival. The General Motors EV1, a groundbreaking electric vehicle, was released to the public. It drew interest and excitement from people wanting to adopt an environmentally friendly form of transportation. Despite its early success, the EV1 and other electric vehicles encountered significant hurdles. One of the primary reasons for the removal of electric vehicles from the market was a lack of infrastructure. Charging facilities were scarce, making it difficult for owners to recharge their automobiles. Another problem was the early electric automobiles' limited range. Electric automobiles have lower ranges than gasoline-powered vehicles, making them less viable for long-distance travel. These difficulties, combined with considerations such as high production costs and restricted battery technology at the time, resulted in the abandonment of numerous electric car models. Let's compare the prices of early electric cars to those of modern EVs. Electric automobiles were expensive to manufacture in the 1990s, resulting in higher consumer prices. However, due to technological breakthroughs and rising demand, the cost of electric vehicles has dramatically fallen. More cheap solutions are now available, making EVs more accessible to a larger spectrum of consumers. One of the primary benefits of electric vehicles is their low environmental effect. But which electric car version was most environmentally friendly? While early electric vehicles had no tailpipe emissions, the entire environmental impact was determined by the source of electricity. If the electricity was generated using fossil fuels, the emissions would simply be transferred from the car to the power plants. However, as renewable energy sources become more prevalent, and the grid becomes more environmentally friendly, the environmental benefits of electric vehicles grow. EVs appear to have a bright future. Subsidies, tax breaks, and the creation of charging infrastructure are among the policies being implemented by governments around the world to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. Automobile manufacturers are also significantly investing in electric car technology, with an increasing number of models hitting the market each year. With a growing emphasis on sustainability and the urgency to battle climate change, electric vehicles are positioned to play an important role in the transportation industry. The financial contrast between early electric automobiles and present EVs and the environmental impact of electric vehicles. Let us now look deeper into the future of electric vehicles and whether they will prosper in the next years. The electric car industry is witnessing a huge spike in popularity and expansion at the moment. Governments, companies, and consumers around the world are increasingly recognizing the significance of shifting to cleaner, more sustainable modes of transportation. This transition has generated a surge in electric car innovation and investment. Electric car demand has been continuously increasing, owing to factors such as environmental consciousness, technological breakthroughs, and favorable government legislation. With stronger emissions laws and a need to minimize greenhouse gas emissions, electric vehicles have emerged as a feasible option for mitigating climate change and improving air quality. Indeed, 
Several countries have set lofty goals for the phase-out of internal combustion engine vehicles and the promotion of electric vehicles. These goals, in conjunction with increased charging infrastructure and falling battery costs, are paving the path for a more sustainable future. The constant advancement of battery technology is one important factor that will influence the future of electric vehicles. As battery technology advances, we should expect longer ranges, faster charging times, and lower prices. Continuous battery research and development activities are critical for improving the performance and appeal of electric vehicles. The incorporation of renewable energy sources into the electric car ecosystem will also be critical to their long-term viability. We can further reduce carbon emissions and build a fully sustainable transportation system by combining the expansion of electric vehicles with renewable energy sources. Furthermore, improvements in autonomous driving technologies are poised to change the landscape of electric vehicles. Self-driving electric vehicles have the potential to increase energy efficiency, traffic flow, and overall user experience. This combination of electric mobility with self-driving vehicles brings up new and exciting possibilities for the future of transportation. In the future, the effective integration of electric vehicles into our daily lives will be dependent not just on technological advances, but also on the coordinated efforts of politicians, companies, and individuals. To fulfill the growing demand for electric vehicles, governments must continue to provide incentives and assistance for the growth of charging infrastructure, while companies must invest in research, development, and production capacity. Let us now delve deeper into the obstacles and opportunities that await electric automobiles. One of the most significant obstacles for electric vehicles is the lack of a reliable and broad charging infrastructure. Electric vehicles must be supported by a network of charging stations that are easily accessible, rapid, and reliable in order to fully prosper. Investing in charging infrastructure will be critical to alleviating range anxiety and providing convenience to EV owners. As the demand for electric vehicles rises, so will job creation in a variety of industries, including manufacturing, battery manufacture, charging infrastructure development, and renewable energy generation. Furthermore, reducing transportation's dependency on fossil fuels can improve energy security and lead to a more sustainable economy. Fortunately, governments and businesses recognize the value of charging infrastructure and are working to expand networks across cities, highways, and public areas. Rapid charging technologies are also being developed to shorten charging periods dramatically, making electric vehicles even more feasible for regular use. Another key factor to consider is the cost of electric automobiles. While the cost of EVs has reduced dramatically over the years, making them more affordable, there is still work to be done to make them cost competitive with internal combustion engine vehicles. This involves lowering the initial cost of electric vehicles while also ensuring that the overall cost of ownership, which includes maintenance and charging, remains cheap. Electric vehicles are predicted to become more affordable as economies of scale are achieved through expanded production and technological breakthroughs, making them more appealing to a wider spectrum of consumers. Aside from economics, the environmental impact of electric vehicles is still being debated. While EVs emit no tailpipe emissions, the overall environmental advantages are dependent on factors such as the source of power supply and the vehicle's lifespan analysis. To reduce the environmental footprint of the whole supply chain, it is critical to continue investing in renewable energy sources to power electric vehicles and to promote sustainable manufacturing practices as we get closer to 2050, when the world must achieve zero emissions to avert the worst climate change scenarios, it's vital to take a step back and assess whether moving to electric vehicles is the best solution. No, we should not remain with internal combustion engines. Instead, we should strive to replace our current vehicles with electric ones while also picturing a world with fewer vehicles. To be honest, cars are terrible. In a documentary on CuriosityStream, Zipcar co-founder Robin Chase eloquently summarizes the broken promise of vehicles. We were promised that cars brought independence, and that probably was true in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. But we all know that most of our driving is in very dense traffic. It's not fun, 
It's also highly expensive and time-consuming. To ensure that electric vehicles genuinely deliver on their promise of sustainability, the issues related to battery production and disposal must be addressed. Efforts should be made to increase battery recyclability and create more sustainable materials for their manufacture. Furthermore, techniques such as second-life battery applications can improve the environmental performance of electric vehicles. Technological breakthroughs have the ability to transform transportation systems. Electric vehicles may smoothly interact with rising trends such as ride-sharing, self-driving, and smart city initiatives. These improvements have the potential to improve traffic flow, reduce congestion, and increase mobility efficiency overall. The key issue should be, how can we connect countries, states, cities, and towns without cars by providing affordable and clean public transport? Yes, the electric automobile will play a role in this new transportation system, but it should be viewed as a piece of the puzzle rather than the key to unlocking transit. It will undoubtedly be tough to develop this alternate transit system. However, it is not only attainable through militant community organizing and constant public pressure on companies, politicians, and governments, it is also a crucial component of a more ethical, just, and zero-emissions society. While there are obstacles to the widespread adoption of electric vehicles, the prospects are tremendous. The transition to electric vehicles is a chance to cut greenhouse gas emissions, improve air quality, and create jobs in the clean energy sector. It also provides an opportunity to reinvent transport infrastructures, encouraging smart city integration and novel mobility solutions. Electric vehicles' future is dependent on a multifaceted approach that includes infrastructure development, cost reduction, environmental considerations, and technology developments. Electric vehicles have the potential to revolutionize transportation by building a sustainable and efficient mobility environment with the commitment of governments, companies, and individuals. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of electric vehicles. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. If you found this content informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates.